everybody, it's Isaac A. Wardell, a social marketing strategist. Today I want to talk to you about Robots Meta. This is a WordPress plugin. Let me paint a quick picture for you. If you're like a lot of people in my industry, you might have a site such as mine here where you have got uh, a bunch of places for people to opt in. So I have got all of these free reports and templates and things that people can opt in for. Now, when somebody fills out a form for one of these free things, it redirects them to a page where they can then download it. Now, a problem that you might run into is that when Google indexes, they start indexing your entire site, and all of a sudden, your download page starts showing up in the search engines. This has happened before to me. I had a hidden URL, and it started showing up in the search engines, and all of a sudden, I'm like, well, what's the point for people to opt in anymore? And so this plugin, Robots Meta, helps with that. Basically, it helps tell the search engines which pages on your website to index and which pages not to index. So when you're on your page, you can come down here and you've got this little uh, plugin on the right, and it says uh, it has actually a few different options. You can index and follow all the links on the page. You can have them just index this page but not follow any links on this page. You can have them not index this page but follow the links on this page. Or you can just say, I want it completely hidden, no indexing, and no following the links on this page. Now, this is really great because then all of a sudden when somebody shows up on this page, if they went and searched for the download page for it on Google or Yahoo or Bing or whatever search engine they use, they're not going to be able to find it because it's hidden from the search engines. And this ensures that my content stays legitimate, that people opt in for the content and not there aren't those who can break the law, if you will, and get around it. It's not really the law, but break the integrity of it and get around and get the download without entering their name and email. And this is just good for us as marketers to make sure that we're offering a consistent legitimate service. Now, there's uh, other configurations that you can have under the plugin settings here. You can index certain things, not indexed other things, for instance, login pages, non-login pages, admin, archives, categories, etc. There's a whole huge list that you can dive into here, but I just wanted to let you know about the basic functions of basically telling Google and Yahoo and Bing which pages on your site to index and which ones not to index or not to follow. Very helpful in my line of work. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, I've got a whole lot more videos and resources such as templates, white papers, and tutorials on the back end of my website at IsaacAWardell.com. All you have to do is go over there, put in your name and email, and I'll send you a link to the private URL where those resources are hosted at. I'll look forward to seeing you over there.